Hey, this is Paul, the friendly reviewer, with a My Passport for Mac by Western Digital. So before we begin, please make sure to check out the description below for any updates since I posted the video and any links to the products that I talk about so you can find them for yourself. Now recently, I filled up my solid state drive on my MacBook Pro and I needed to be able to offload some of the material so I can free up some space. I picked up a two terabyte My Passport by Western Digital and we're gonna check it out today. It comes in minimal packaging. Included is an external hard drive a USB cable, and instructions. The USB cable is 18 inches long and has a USB Type-A connector. You'll need an adapter if you only have USB-C ports on your computer like I do. It would be nice if Western Digital included a cable with the USB-C connector since this is specifically marketed towards Mac computers. The fit and finish is very nice. If you are very particular, you'll notice that the glossy surface will show dust and fingerprints. You'll find little rubber pads in the bottom that will allow it to sit quietly and stay in place on your desk. It is fairly compact, coming in at 4.33 inches long, 3.21 inches wide, and 0.85 inches tall, and it weighs a little over a half pound. The one terabyte version is a little shorter at 0.64 inches and is a little lighter at 0.37 pounds. The bright white LED on the front shows the status of the drive. When it is on solid, it is idle. When it's flashing fast, there's activity. And when it's flashing slow, it's on standby. After plugging it in, you should see it show up as a drive ready to go. You'll be prompted with a question asking if you want to use the drive to back up your Mac using Time Machine. Next, if you'd like, you can install the optional Western Digital driver utility software and security software which are located on the drive. Using the utility software, you can diagnose your drive, adjust the settings such as the sleep time and the LED function. The Mac version comes pre-formatted with HFS plus J for Mac OS X. If you want to reformat it to XFAT, do so before putting data on it. You can do this under the erase section. If you're formatting it as XFAT, so it can be used with a Windows machine as well, I suggest reformatting it on a Windows machine so you can make sure it works, but it's not necessary. The security application allows you to password protect your drive. You can choose for it to be automatically unlocked for a particular user on a particular computer. The user manual states that it supports data transfer rates of 480 megabits per second using backwards compatible USB 2.0 and 5 gigabits per second using USB 3.0. Using the Hutu or the Apple USB-C to USB adapter with any of the four USB-C ports on my 2016 MacBook Pro 15, I get an average read speed of 900 megabits per second and a write speed of 700 megabits per second. Using the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test application, I was able to get around 100 megabytes per second, which is 800 megabits per second on average for both read and write speeds. This means for a six gigabyte file, it will take just under one minute to save and a little over one minute to read the file to and from the drive. This is much slower than the five gigabit per second max transfer speed, but is on par with many USB 3.0 drives that are out there on the market today. After transferring my data, I now have space again on my Mac to work with. There are external USB-C solid state drives that have hit the market. These are very nice if you're actively using the drive as if it were a secondary drive on your laptop. Now with as much data that I create, I would fill up one of those brand new 500 gigabyte solid state drives that has USB-C probably once every two months and that's just too expensive for me. So for the value, I do think that the My Passport by Western Digital is a decent deal right now and I'm looking forward to some USB-C versions coming out and the price dropping on those. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one, and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. This has been Paul, the friendly reviewer, for your review of My Passport by Western Digital. Thank you for watching.